for those who just tuned in to the Power Station Energy 100. This is a corner chat. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman and myself, LCB, the Tibinyani, as your hostess. We are talking cost of living crisis emphasis on crisis because that is what we are dealing with right now specifically in namibia uh, we have uh, spoken about avoidance uh, you know we've s- spoken about substitution which is what we are dealing with right now uh, because we all found that stuff uh, substitute that we're going from um from top uh, black cat peanut butter to yum yum or rather choosing local to nem yum peanut butter uh, are you aware of that peanut butter mr daniel steinman no. that we have our own local peanut butter called nem yum nem yum is are, are you pulling my leg or no, is I'm not serious pulling your leg. i'm not pulling your leg uh, this is officially uh, uh nem yum our local peanut butter but not to uh, to dwell on that uh, we are talking serious issues here Mr. Daniel Steinman, we are affected by uh, the cost of living uh, on a daily, um, you know, every second of our lives. We are basically affected by it. Yeah. Be, I, I want to emphasize that we are in the middle of a crisis mm. and it's a very serious mm. crisis. And it's not, it's not getting less severe. Mm. It is just getting more severe at a slower pace. You know, like the frog in the water that you boil, and he doesn't realize that the boiling water is going to kill him because it, it gets warmer so slowly, slowly, slowly until the, the frog is dead. We are in that same situation now. Hmm. The water around us is boiling and we're not realizing it because the Bank of Namibia is feeding us all this nonsense. Now the inflation rate's coming down hmm. and it's almost within target. I mean, Elsevi, let's be honest. If inflation is 8% or 6%, what what condones the one and disqualifies the other? Eight yeah, percent yeah. is not acceptable, but six percent is mm. because that's within the the target or within the band. I mean, it, it's inflation. Yeah, it, stuff is getting more expensive, yeah. and it is got it's gotten so horribly expensive over the last year that already we cannot afford it. Mm. So whether it increases by six percent or by eight percent over the next year is academic. We are already in a crisis, yeah. and I'm not using that word lightly. Mm. I I would go as far as to say that 75 to 80 percent of Namibian households are in a serious cost of living crisis mm. to the extent that many of these households do not know mm. where the money is going to come from to mm. buy the groceries for the children mm. to pay the school fares, yeah. practical stuff, mm. to put fuel in the car, mm. it is it has gotten so serious. Mm. But now I want to end today's discussion on a positive note. Yeah. Although it is not an overnight positive, uh, it's not going to be better in a month from now. It's not. It's going yeah. to be worse. Mm. But when <coughs> a community or a country, a nation, when it, when it faces a serious cost of living crisis like Mm. we are doing now like we did in 2009 and like we did in 2001 Mm. where all the all those times in history when we had this big international upheavals Mm. very similar to to what we've got now Mm. uh, disruptions in production and distribution and it all ended in very huge spikes in inflation Mm. and it all produced cost of living crises Mm -hmm. and you will remember in 2009 um, all the strikes and unrest in Africa because people could not afford a simple bag five kilogram bag of Mm millimil anymore Mm -hmm. you know and then then the the poor people revolted they just said enough is enough but the positive thing is when you have started the process of avoidance and you've gone to substitution switching to other products and you you basically aligning your expenditure pattern to your budget yeah now remember i said earlier this is not voluntary this is forced yeah you are forced to do it you have to do it Mm -hmm. otherwise the family will not survive Mm. so it creates opportunity Mm. for other manufacturers Mm. to enter that niche that gap that uh, the fact that you no longer want to buy black cat mm. it 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 enters the market with a similar product at a lower price mm. um, 
and one must never overlook the fact that cost of living crises are very painful in the first 18 months or so yeah. and then after that you've sort of made the adjustment and if you're lucky you you got a, a five or a seven percent increment it's mm-hmm. not very big but you sort of through this process of avoidance and substitution you realign your own budget mm. you buy what you can afford and this sounds so simple but this is a very basic economic principle yeah because you buy what you can afford it creates the opportunity, it opens the market for mm-hmm. other people to offer you the same thing at the reduced price. Mm-hmm. And you go for that reduced price. And what happens is exactly my peanut butter story, the mm-hmm. history of peanut mm-hmm. butter, is that the, the product that was always sort of the market leader, mm-hmm. it, it loses its shine. It is too expensive. Mm-hmm. And the other products, they're all the same. I mean, also be peanut butter is peanut butter the one is slightly more salty and the other one is slightly sweeter but it's peanut butter you know you 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 don't eat it like jelly you you put it on your bridge and (laughs) (laughs) um, it's it's not a staple Mm. Uh, but even with stuff like like mealy meal or sugar the moment one brand becomes too expensive it opens the door for other other manufacturers to come in with their product and you get a, a cheaper substitute mm-hmm. and what do you do you go for the cheaper one yeah. and what is the consequence the the market leader either have to reduce its price or it 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 becomes history yeah um, you falls know. from the shelf yes it, it disappears yeah because people no longer buy it mm-hmm. it is simply too expensive it has outpriced itself mm-hmm. and this is in if you look at um on on the microeconomic side what we call the the lifetime of a product or the life cycle of a product is a fairly natural process Mm -hmm. um, that when something something becomes obsolete or redundant when it's too expensive and when there's a cheaper substitute of more or less the same uh, qualities the consumer will go for the cheaper one yeah and um it's not good or bad it is just the way it is but while you're in that crisis you don't realize that this is the the bigger economy at work the big wheels of the economy they're turning and they're turning all the time and they are creating in this painful period they're creating new opportunities for many other people And on that note, Mr. Daniel Stamen, I also want to tell the listeners that given the crisis that we are dealing with right now is that you should also create your own opportunity. Uh, You know, start your own business. Entrepreneurship is out there. There are many institutions that uh, can, of course, assist you financially uh, in this moment. Yeah, we've had this. uh, We have this uh, had this talk in regards to the banks that sitting with all this money, but people don't want to go take out loans. So great. Grab that opportunity and start up your own business because once you do that, you can plow back into your community as well as into the economy at large. This was EconoChat. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman. Uh, but before we say goodbye, do you have anything I to say? Quickly, you, you are hitting the nail so much on okay. the head now because that's that same principle after substitution that creates opportunity for other products. Mm. That also creates opportunity you know, for other entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Small guys, young yes. guys who come into the market at a price premium. Mm. They can compete with the big guys because they come in cheaper. Exactly. So you better pull up your socks and join the pool of businesses out there. Uh, on that note, Mr. Daniel Stamman, thank you so much for bringing this topic uh, to the table. And of course, to our listeners, thank you so much for keeping it locked to the power station and being loyal all the time. From me, Elsie B. Timignani, till we meet again, goodbye.